Let's start by talking to this child. The elders talk of Great Sig is much bigger than our village. But why would anyone need so many buildings? Okay. You didn't give me what I wanted. I want side quests. All these houses are locked. Where's everybody? Shaman's hut. Whoa. Is there a shaman inside? Said shaman hut. No. Alright, there's no one in here then. This town's pretty barren. I'll talk to those three after I search everything. I want to search this great hall again. I never looked upstairs. I just sort of wandered out the back like a stupid. Nope. Nobody here. Another empty building. Alright, fine. What time is it anyway? That's prime time for people to still be here. But, I guess they're all at the stone. Alright, so let's see if we can talk to these people now. Do not break our concentration. Please leave us. We must concentrate. I no, they're still saying the same stuff. If anyone can help us now, it is you. Where's your mother? She died when I was very young. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather, and the threats in the south. Even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. Man, that sucks. Then why stay here when I live somewhere safer? We are bound to this land, like a great pine with roots that run as deep as the tree is tall. I know it must seem strange to you, but for us, the thought of leaving our village is equally strange. The land and the skull are one. There is no other way to say it. Huh, okay. For a shaman, you fight pretty well. Who trained you? It was Scarf the Giant, our former chieftain who taught me the ways of battle. He was a great bear of a man, and a fearsome warrior. I used to be terrified of him when I was a little girl. I was a restless and angry child, and Scarf taught me swordplay so that I could, as he used to say, put that fire to good use. He was a great man, and a good leader. I miss him dearly. He sounds like a pretty cool guy. I'll make her guide you. Well, doesn't look like I can talk to anybody here at all. So let's go and use Bend Will on this stone, see what happens. Do I have that? Oh, I do. May as well get it equipped right away. Oh god, it's taking me. No! That sucks. Nah, I can make this. I bend you to my will, you son of a bitch. Whoa. Oh, crap. Damn, these things are starting to come into Sky, uh, Solstheim now. Hey, watch it. What do you mean, hey, watch it? Just saved your life. 
Ah, uh, thanks for the soul jam. Why was I building a temple? Because you're crazy. This, this is some dark magic. It has to be. I pray to the All Maker that whatever this was, it doesn't happen again. Your eyes all messed up. The whole village is here. What sorcery is this? I, uh, I don't know how I got here. All right, so it looks like we have a way to destroy these things now. A fever must have taken me. What else could explain this? What in Mundus am I doing out here at this hour? So these people are free. Awesome. So where do I have to go now? Nope, still there. So after this, I'll head to the stone near uh, Raven Rock. And destroy that thing. And the one near Tel, uh, Tel Mithrin as well. You have prevailed. I can feel it. Why were you standing behind me? That's kind of creepy. Your people are free. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull. And so the Skull shall be allies to you. Where the hell did Freya go? What do we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. Yeah, he won't be happy about that. That's not enough. I need to stop Mirak now. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Really? Tell me more about this book, then. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neroth, he came to us some time ago asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Right, so it looks like Neleth is still important. What do you know about these black books? Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. But beware, you are now walking the same road as Mirak. I'm not going to go crazy. You can trust me on that one. Why do you think this Neleth can help me find black books? He also is searching for them. In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. Yeah, I kind of it found that one. very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the ore maker. Yeah, I found that black book. I read the shit out of it. What happens when I... Oh yeah, what happened when I shouted at the windstone? The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone and restored its true nature as a conduit of the All-Maker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstheim. Other stones? Yes. There are six sacred stones. Wind, water, earth, beast, Sun and tree. What about the heartstone? Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. 
I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. But you may be able to cleanse the other stones. Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. That sounds good to me. Who or what is the Allmaker? You are an outsider. I thought I was talking about me for a second. I don't know if I can make you understand. I will try. Speak slowly. The Allmaker is the maker of all things. And it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the Allmaker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. What is your role among the Skull? As shaman of Skull Village, I serve as both a guide and a healer, as well as a keeper of traditions. I also remind the Skull to live as one with nature and to honor the will of the Allmaker so that we will be worthy to join him in death. Uh huh. All right, I better go. Feindal looks eager. Allmaker, shelter you.